Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. So I wanted to share with you that in the last couple of weeks, uh, I have created some videos, three of them, uh, for personal productivity and uh, transforming your digital life and utilizing your, the app by the name of Evernote. Today, I'm going to share another very useful app. But before I do that, I thought of sharing my views and thoughts on this note-taking industry, which transforms all of us digitally into totally a new world. Note-taking apps are not all created equal. In fact, the deeper you dig into them, the more you realize how different they are in terms of what they offer in both concepts and abilities. While a solid note-taking app is a necessary piece of any suite of productivity applications, figuring out what to do with it in the first place is half of the challenge. It doesn't matter if you're an engineer on a call or a secretary taking minutes or simply inspired by an idea while commuting like most of the C-level executives are doing, or even you and I are doing uh, over a period of time, the ability to take notes on a mobile device or a PC or a Mac can be a real benefit. Moreover, the wide availability of smartphones, tablets, and laptops means they can easily use anywhere on the go. This makes them an ideal device for taking notes on, and there are a large, large variety of apps available for all of us. So today I'm going to go over another great note-taking app, which excels in its uh, look and feel, UX design, and functionalities. It has functionalities like markdowns, which is a treat to have. This app is called Bear. My name is Anshul Kumar, and I provide YouTube videos to my clients on digital transformation, personal growth, and also helping the community to be more productive. So let's get to the Bear app now. What you're looking at is the Bear website. One thing which I wanted to mention right in the beginning is, as you can see over here, this app is available only for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. My latest information says that they are still working on uh, an app for uh, Windows or for browser, but uh, it has been quite some time, and I think they are in the process of improving upon their current app on iOS and Mac only. Quick few things over here. From the features standpoint, like I mentioned, it's a beautiful and a gorgeous app and its interface is very nice. They have various different backgrounds which you can change it over here. They are limited to those backgrounds in the free version, but in the pro version, everything is available. And at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about different pricing options also. You can encrypt the notes in the pro version and there are various different editing tools the good part is they are all in markdown capabilities. So in a layman's language, I can tell you the markdown language is something where you do not have to use your mouse and you can just do all those editing with the help of your keyboards. We'll talk about that once we get to the Bear app and I'll show it to you. These are some of the features out here. You can definitely check it up uh, on their website. Now let me get to the demo of the app. So I'm in my Bear app, and this is a Mac version. Like it happens in most of the notes which are available or note of the note apps, you see there are three sections. On the left-hand side are the folders. But for the purposes of Bear app, there are tags, which I will explain you very shortly how these tags are created, which get converted into folders. The second column is where the name of the note is there. And then on the right-hand side, you see the body of that note, wherever you are writing the text or to-do list or any tasks or images. Now, firstly, let's go to the settings. 
you see that there are various different things. I'm not going to go over each and everything, but one key thing over here is markdown compatibility mode. You can switch it off and on. So for me, this is switched on and I'll show you how that works. There are various different themes which are available. And we have three themes available in the free version. Right now I'm using free version. There's a red graphite and then high contrast and there's a dark graphite. So right now I prefer to use the high contrast thing. And there are various other interesting themes which you can get it in the pro version. So I have this list of tasks which I'll be completing today with you all in this tutorial. So I've completed the beer app review, app settings. Now let's see how to create notes and also the tagging and folders. How does that work here? You need to go on the top of this screen and hit this new note. And you see this H1. H1 is the heading out here. Now what you can do over here is if you go all the way on the right hand side and click this show the information, you can also see what count of words are there in each of the text and you can also export this uh, note later on into different uh, formats. And once you go all the way down, you see this pen icon over there. You click this. This is what I wanted to show it to you. H1 is heading one. H2 is heading two. There are different sizes of headings or sizes of fonts. While you are creating your note or you are creating meeting minutes or you are writing a blog, you can use all these editing tools out there. The good part over here is, and let me show it to you while I'm doing it so it will make more sense out here. So I go over here, H1, and I start writing. I go down. Now let's say I have to do a subheading out of this. I can do two hashtags and I can start writing. So you see, this is more like a subheading where I'm doing all these things and then I can start writing my note. You see this again, like any other app, there are dividers which you can use the dividers for. Now let's talk about the tagging system within Beer. You see out here that we were creating folders in earlier applications like Evernote, we used to create the folders. But here, since it's a markdown capability is there, I can go and say, hashtag work. Now look at on the left hand side, see the work thing has already got created. Now, if I have all these notes out here, I created this beer tagging so that all my to-do lists are there. And then if I click on work, I have this thing which I was creating and I will be still adding a lot of stuff out there. If we want to create a subfolder within work, I can do that also and see how it happens. So I did hashtag work. I'll say projects and that's it. Now, if you go back over here, you see there is a subfolder projects. Similarly, you can create many subfolders within that project using the markdown capabilities. It's a tagging facility, but it creates folders for you. So let's understand and see how some of the markdown capabilities functions are working in a to-do list. So I can create a to-do list like I created earlier. So let me create another node for that. Just say command T in Mac and I'll start writing. What you can do over here is do a colon and start saying apple. See, you get the pineapple, red apple, and then you select this. And maybe you can write apples too. Similarly, I'll give you a couple of more examples. Vegetables. Vegetables, 
I can have potato, right? I selected potato. I can do that. I need to buy, let's say, computer, laptop computer. You can do that. Similarly, you can add these emojis anywhere. Now, the great part is you do not have to go to an emoji section and copy and paste it over here. One of the key feature or the USB for Bear app is that once you are on a laptop, you are not leaving your keyboard, you are not using your mouse, you are not using your trackpad on your Mac also. Another thing which I wanted to quickly show it to you is, like I mentioned, there are three different sections out here, right? Now, what you can do if, if you go all the way on the right corner, bottom corner, and you see over here, there are three different modes where you can write these notes. Instead of three, you can have two different columns or just one column and start writing. This, you'll be more focused and there is no distraction over here while you are writing any notes, meeting minutes, to-do lists, you are just focusing just on that and reduces your procrastination. Again, like Evernote, there is a clipper for this also. So just to give you a quick example, let me go to my Chrome. And you see I've downloaded the clipper for Bear app. I want to have this stored somewhere in my Bear app. So I just go over here, very simple, open Bear app, and it is already clipping this image out there, image as well as information. And there you go, this entire thing is there. Now, this is a new note which has got created, beautiful interface and easy to read. Now I want to tag it and put it in some folder. Now, if you see out here, I have already created one tagging for beer. So I can just go over there and say it pops up and beer. Now, if I go to beer, I have these two nodes. One was the tutorial notes where I have all these things available out here. And then this is my clipped image. So I go over here and I'm done with this also. Now, if you see every time I check in, this entire checked options get folded up. If you go to settings, you can undo that so that you can see it, what all items you have completed. Now, there are two things which is a great feature to have. One is the encryption of the notes. Let's say you have any tax information you are storing out here, some documents, some PDF files. You can store all that within Bear app, but you want to make it password protected and encrypt that data. You can do that. Another thing is linking your notes. You can link your notes, multiple notes, you can link it and have a link available. But both of these features are available in the pro version. And we'll talk about the pro version at the end of this tutorial when I'll go over the pricing options with you. So I'm not going to go this over with you right now. Now let's talk about the exporting the, these notes into different formats. So let's say I have this clipped image and I want to export this. So exporting this note is very easy. You just click on this information button and go all the way down. And then there are various different options available for you. I can export it in JPEG, document, HTML, PDF, and everything. The only options which are available at this point of time, which is in the free version, is a rich text format and the markdown. So, but once you have the pro version, you will be able to export in, in any other format, whatever is mentioned out here. Now let's get back to the tutorial thing. And I see that we've talked about the export your notes also. Let's get to the payment plan and other features which are available in the pro version, which I've already gone through with you. 
Before I start talking about the pro version, I have to mention this, that the pricing for Bear app is extremely, extremely economical as compared to other apps available, including Evernote. And Evernote premium version, if I'm not wrong, costs like about 60 to 70 dollars, I think, annually. This costs 14.99 annually, and they are offering one month free trial. You can always try and do a pro version here in Bear app by paying them a dollar and a half and uh, you can just do a trial on that and get a feel of it and once you start loving it you can always move it to the annual version one of the great functionality which everyone is talking about in the note taking app industry is that bear app is extremely fast bear app might not be having the best of the clipper tools available like it is in Evernote, but it is like super fast. And the amount of time which Bear app takes in clipping an image or clipping a text from uh, the website to their app is very swift. So I, I've started liking it. I've used this app off and on, but I have like about eight to 9,000 notes available in Evernote. Uh, but at some point of time, I might uh, rethink about this Bear app also. I strongly recommend it. One last functionality or an update I wanted to give it to you on Bear app is, today in the morning, I've received an email from Bear. Now, if you look into here, they are talking about the new editor functionalities for Bear. What it means is they have provided me a list of things. We can do animated GIF support over here. Now you can also create tables which was not available earlier, like it is in Evernote. Uh, there are various different nestable styles of editing, like italics, bold, and links and headings, and which is really useful. They are planning to start giving right to left language support and also footnotes. So I've already received the beta version. I'll be testing that in the next about uh, a week's time. And uh, let me do that testing and maybe I should be doing another video uh, on this uh, pretty soon on the beta testing part. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Also, may I request you to provide comments also. Thank you.